See, in Pakistan, it's history. No uh, leader completes or no PM completes his full term. The reason is the army wants to retain control. It's a democracy in name. A photo ops are done in Islamabad and real decisions are taken in Rawalpindi. There is no uh, dignitary who visits Pakistan and does not visit Rawalpindi because that is where the main decisions are taken. Imran Khan from day one kept saying that the army and me are on the same side, implying that he had decided to tow the line of his masters, to follow the diktat that's given to him. And like all other prime ministers before him, midway through the term, the feeling begins to get in that I am now capable enough of putting the army in its place. I'm capable enough of determining what should be done, especially on matters which concern himself and the army. And that was the takeoff point as far as the, uh, the decision on the appointment of the ISI chief was concerned. He stepped on wrong toes. In addition, if you look at the last uh, possibly a year and a half since the time the pandemic began, the park economy had been going down. Not a single promise made by Imran could be done. His advisors were worthless with the bargain that it is almost heading into a debt trap. Today, Pakistan is approaching China for a rollover of $4 billion loan. <clears throat> so in that status, somebody has to be the scapegoat. And who better than Imran Khan? And for the opposition to unite, it's not feasible that the, op that the opposition would unite without the backing of the army. There are too many differences within the opposition. The fact that they've united, the fact that they've even decided who would be the uh, prime minister post the removal of Imran, and a common decision taken has to be with the backing of the army. There is no two doubts about it. And with the army having openly announced it's not going to get into the political game, implies it's backing the opposition. There is no way that the army stays out of it. In fact, uh, I recall a former Indian uh, military uh, advisor in the U.S. telling me that in a seminar in the U.S., he ran into a park lieutenant general and they were both out having a smoke. When the park lieutenant general complained to him that why do you Indian army people let the politicians get away? He said, we are a democracy and that's the way we've been and we have no role. He says, in our case, we've ensured that the prime minister toes our line. The day he steps a little bit of out of the line, we ensure he's out. He says, that is the way we ensure that the country runs and nobody can tamper with us. And that's the way Pakistan has been since 47. And Imran is no special uh, piece. I mean, he, his only credence to fame is being the captain of the Pakistan team. In fact, there are reports stating that had Imran become the chief minister of uh, KP, Khyber Pakhtunwa, when his party came in the majority, he would have had experience of governance prior to coming in the PM's chair. But he never did that. With the bargain that he took the PM's chair without even a day's experience in politics, in actual politics, in the chair of governance. So with the bargain, he was a novice. And as a novice, there is no way you can run five years, especially with the pandemic running and the economy sinking and not being able to find a way out. So he had to go. Someone has to be responsible for the mess that Pakistan is in. The army won't take the responsibility. The politicians will. And that's being done. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad, Namaskar.